Welcome back everybody to Virtual DJ Tips. Today's quick tip, we are going to look at deck options. Deck options are available in the little dot here to the side of the transport controls in each of your deck. If you click on it, you'll see the options for Smart Play, Smart Cue, and Smart Loop. Now Smart Play is uh, automatically start playing from the nearest position that would allow the song to be beat matched with one another. So if your grid is lined up, and you have smart play on, you press play on the deck, it will automatically sync with the master deck. Now smart cue is similar. Smart cue will do the same thing, but with your hot cues. It'll keep your hot cues in sync. And then we have smart loop. So if you manually set a loop, if you have smart loop on, it will find the nearest position to make the loop seamless. Also here we have master tempo, or also known as key lock. So if you have your master tempo on and you change the pitch, it'll just change the tempo. It won't change the actual pitch of the song. We also have pitch range, and you can choose your pitch range of uh, for each deck. But the biggest thing here about the deck options is probably the button behavior. Now you can change your play button. Currently it's a play stutter. So if I press play, press play again it goes back to that point where we started playing and just one more time now if I go in and I change that option button behavior and I just choose it to be a play pause you can see the actual button changes and we press play it plays we press the button again it pauses so you can choose which one you prefer we also have a couple different Q options. So the standard Q, which is on, it's on right now, hit the Q. Once a Q point is set, as you're holding, it plays that Q, or from that Q point. Sorry. If we go Q hold to play, C U H, and we hold it down for a few seconds, and then let go. The song continually plays. Now you can hit that Q hold button again and it'll just stop the track and go back to that Q point. You need to actually click on the button, hold it, let go, and it'll continue to play the track from there. But if you don't hold it, it acts like a regular Q button. And then we have one more option, and that is the Q inverted or cup. And if we go over, you see that the button changes again to cup. And what that does is I'm gonna hit the button and I'm gonna hold on to it, like so. And as long as I hold that button, the Q will stay in one spot. As soon as I let go, it will start to play. If I press it again, it'll go back to its original position and I'm holding. It's not playing the track. Let go, it starts playing the track. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.